All right, my friends. So t we are going to read a book called Over in Australia, and it's about the amazing animals that are in Australia. And our, Australia, ha Australia has some of what we call marsupials, which are mammals that have a pouch like kangaroo, actually take care of their babies that only live in Australia. So you're going to see lots of those. So as we're reading the book, what I want you to be thinking about is how are these animals different than some of the animals that you've seen in other places? But also we're still going to be looking for those verbs or those action words that each of the animals are doing. So here we go over in Australia. And just like we said, these animals all come from the continent of Australia. Remember, Australia is the smallest continent and it actually only has one country. It's a country and a continent all by itself. And there's lots of places of Australia that are actually flat desert that, so animals have to be very resilient to live there. Over in Australia in a swamp in the sun lived a fierce crocodile and her little hatchling one. Snap, said the mother, I snap, said the one. So they snipped and they snapped in a swamp in the sun. All right, so our first animal, the crocodile, what action or verb is that, that animal completing? That's right, he's snapping. He's snapping and snipping with his uh, mouth. Over in Australia, looking like a kangaroo, lived a smaller wallaby and her little joeys too. Hop, said the mother. We hop, said the two. So they hopped, then they stopped, looking like a kangaroo. All right, so our wallaby, what action does the wallaby, or the, the verb that the wallaby is completing? That's right, he's hopping. Over in Australia, in a eucalyptus tree, lived a cuddly gray koala and her little joeys three. Munch, said the mother. We munch, said the three. So they munched and they crunched in a eucalyptus tree. All right, so our koala. Koalas only live in Australia. And what action or verb are they completing? That's right, they're munching and they love eucalyptus to eat. Over in Australia where they swam to the shore lived a sleek platypus and her little puggles four. Splash, said the mother, we splash, said the four. So they splished and they splashed as they swam to the shore. All right, our platypus. And the platypus is such an interesting animal because it's a mammal, but it lays eggs. It's the only mammal that lays eggs. And what action is the platypus or verb that the platypus is doing? That's right, he's splashing and splishing. Over in Australia, where the wildflowers thrived, lived a rainbow lorikeet and her little chicks five. Cheat, said the mother. We cheat, said the five. So they cheated and they chatted where the wildflowers thrive. All right, so these lorikeets, what are they doing? That's right, they're cheating. And cheating just means that they chatter. They make the sound back and forth. Over in Australia, where the tall grass is mixed, lived a short, spucky wombat and her little joey six. Dig, said the mother. We dig, said the six. So they dug deep in dirt where the tall grass is mixed. All right, so our wombats. Wombats are another animal that are just found in Australia. And what verb did we find in this page for wombat? That's right, they dig, they like to dig in the dirt. Over in Australia, in a tree that reached to heaven, lived a furry sugar glider and her little joey seven. Lap, said the mother, we lap, said the seven. So they lapped on the sap in a tree that reached to heaven. All right, so the sugar gliders used a verb that you might not have known. It's called lapping, and lapping is just where you lick up food. So you might say that a dog laps up his water from his water bowl. You use your tongue to lick up something that's a liquid. And so these sugar gliders, you can see them getting the sugar straight out of the sap on the trees. 
Over in Australia, where she bowed to her mate, lived a tall, friendly brogla and her little chicks eight. Dance, said the mother, we dance, said the eight. So they danced and they pranced as she bowed to her mate. All right, so this special type of bird called the broga is related actually to the, the crane. And what action or verb are they doing? That's right, they're dancing. They actually dance to their partners to show how they feel. Over in Australia in a sandy place to dine lived a hungry long-eared bilby and her little joey's nine. Slurp, said the mother, we slurp, said the nine. So they slurped and they burped in a sandy place to dine. All right, so our bilbies have unique features that help protect them. If you look, what do you notice about their ears? That's right, their ears are huge. Those ears will go up and they actually help keep them cool in the desert, but they also have really good hearing so they can hear predators coming from a long way away. And they have a special tongue that helps them use the action that's on this page. They have a long tongue like an anteater that helps them slurp up bugs that they're trying to eat from the ground. Over in Australia, acting like a mother hen, lived a huge father emu and his little chicks ten. Zig, said the father, we zig, said the ten. So they zigged and they zagged with their father, mother hen. All right, so our emus that live in Australia, what verb were they using? That's right, they're zigging and zagging, which is a way that they help get away from their predator as they run in a zigzag motion, trying to get away from them. All around Australia, where most species are unique, while the parents are all resting, their kids play hide and seek. Find us, say the children, from ten to one. When you find all the children, this rhyme isn't done. Go back and start over and spy with your eyes. To find a hidden creature, every page has a surprise. So this is a special map. This map is actually kind of a physical map. It's showing you the areas, this yellow part that are desert in Australia. These areas that are the kind of bluish green are grasslands and the outskirts are forest. So that's the type of landscape that Australia have, has. And it's showing you where in this landscape each of these animals live. And so what you're gonna do now is you're gonna go into Seesaw and I'm gonna put the slideshow into Seesaw so that you can go back and you can go back and look at each slide and I want you to tell me about the animal on the slide. And then if you look really closely, you can find and use the pen to find our hidden animals on the page. All right, thanks for looking at all of our animals that are from Australia.